Have you ever wondered how we know what we know about the universe? Well, right here in West Virginia sits one of the most influential places in the United States that helps give us that information. The Green Bank Observatory studies astronomy using the Green Bank Telescope, but this isn't the typical telescope that most people are used to seeing. If you're in your backyard and you have a telescope, that's going to be an optical telescope. It works at the same wavelengths as your eyes are sensitive to, so you can look through the, the eyepiece. You can't look through our eyepieces here, right? The wavelengths are significantly longer. People are maybe familiar recently with the James Webb Space Telescope. That has wavelengths that are closer to the optical. Uh, it's in the infrared, so those wavelengths are much smaller than what we observe here in Green Bank. Behind me you can see over 2,000 panels making up this dish, which is approximately two acres in size or the equivalent of about two football fields. For the scientists to perform these studies, they need everything to be super quiet, which is why they are located in the National Radio Quiet Zone. We don't have the glow from street lights interfering with us, but it's like the glow from cell phone towers and the glow from microwave ovens and Wi-Fi that is all adding to this general background noise that we see. So here in Green Bank, we're one of the quietest radio environments in the country and in the world. And one of the ways that we, we have that is through the National Radio Quiet Zone and the West Virginia Radio Instrument Zone as well. So we're just trying to keep that background radio noise away from us so that we can see those super distant galaxies and star forming regions as best we can. This telescope is so sensitive that it can see your cell phone from as far away as outer space, so it's important when visiting Green Bank to either have your cell phone turned off or to leave it behind in your vehicle. If you're interested in visiting the observatory, they offer specialized tours that you can sign up for, from searching for extraterrestrials to learning more about the science of what's done here and more. Green Bank Observatory is one of the few places in the world that has the capabilities of researching wavelengths throughout outer space. Reporting from the only radio-free zone in the United States, I'm Josh Redwine, West Virginia Tonight.